if Trump spends more time uh, uh, complaining about depictions of the crowd size at Kamala Harris rallies, that's really going to seal the deal for that's him. Gonna that's going to turn it. Gonna, so that's going to get the smart state voters. <laughs> so Not dumb. Just that. So stupid. Donald Trump's recent stupid conspiracy theory that Vice President Harris is artificially creating the crowds at her rallies by way of AI continues to vex him, his campaign, and the MAGA movement in general, as an increasing number of MAGA Republicans not only criticize him for it, but are now openly mocking him as stupid for doing it, even as the Fox Propaganda Network scrambles to give him some cover. But before we unpack all that, if you end up liking this video and you want to support the channel, please be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and alert bells before you go. All right, friends, this is a, a follow-up video of sorts to the recent dumbest conspiracy theory that Donald Trump's come up with in probably just days, right? But again, he can't cope with the fact that the vice president has energy and political wind at her back and people are excited to see her and that she's you know, hosting rallies that are uh, viewed and filled by tens of thousands of Americans. And so his conspiracy theory is that she used artificial intelligence to create whole cloth digitally. Her crowds that nobody was there, nobody actually was there, and that all the tens of thousands of people you see are just AI created images. And some people are carrying water for this. But again, what's interesting to me is not only are an increasing number of Republicans criticizing Trump for this. But some, like Megyn Kelly, ex-Fox News host and right-wing political commentator who loves Donald Trump, who is voting for Donald Trump, who openly supports Donald Trump, is now publicly mocking him and calling him dumb and stupid. If, he makes, <laughs> if Trump spends more time uh, uh, complaining about depictions of the crowd size at Kamala Harris rallies, that's really going to seal the deal for that's him. That's going to turn that's it. Gonna, so that's going to get the smart. state voters. So Not dumb. Just that, the listening he's audience, still... he's claiming that the crowds... The big crowds outside of her airplane and elsewhere are AI generated. And and it's just there's just no proof of that. I mean, like there was a conspiracy theory somebody started. There were all these other pictures from people who were actually there that showed the huge like, are they all in on it? Is that is, like everyone who showed up got an AI filter that they put? What, OK, so stupid. Just focus on the damn border. Sorry. Go ahead, Matt. So, yeah, they're not happy about the state of things, and I don't blame them, even though I'm very delighted. I think that Donald Trump should talk more about AI crowds because it, it's a huge boon for Democrats, for Vice President Harris, and for really those of us who love this country because it further derails an already derailed campaign. Again, as a reminder, Donald Trump made multiple truth social posts about this recently, but the kind of the big one that's circulating the most is, has anyone noticed that Kamala cheated at the airport? She cheated at the airport. Didn't know that was possible. She cheated. There was nobody at the plane, nobody. And she AI'd it, and it showed a massive crowd of so-called followers, but they didn't exist. She was turned in by a maintenance worker at the airport when he noticed the fake crowd picture, but there was nobody there. Later confirmed by the reflection of the mirror of, of the finish of the vice presidential plane. She's a cheater. She had nobody waiting, and the crowd looked like 10,000 people. Same thing is happening with her fake crowds at her speeches. This is the way Democrats win elections, by cheating. And they're even worse at the ballot box. She should be disqualified because the creation of a fake image is election interference. Anyone who does that will cheat at anything. So to recap, Trump says again, I, that's why I wanted you to know I wasn't exaggerating. Trump doesn't say that there were fewer people there or there weren't many people there. He says literally nobody is showing up at her rallies anywhere. And that all of the people you see are totally digitally manufactured by artificial intelligence. This is cheating. This is cheating at the airport because one of the rallies uh, was at the Metro uh, airport in, in Detroit. I think 15,000 people showed up in that uh, airport hangar. But she cheated at the airport. And this is the big one. Not only did she cheat, she cheated such with this fake image that she should be disqualified from running for president. So the guy who was challenged by Republican voters in multiple states to be disqualified from the presidential race because he violated Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, again, from Republicans, he threw a tantrum, and so did MAGA Republicans everywhere. How dare you? That's so anti-democratic. We just you, you can't disqualify candidates. You can't even try to disqualify candidates is now not for the first time because he said it in 2016 against Secretary Clinton. He said it in 2020 against Joe Biden. For the third election cycle in a row, Donald Trump is publicly calling for the disqualification of his political opponent, and this time, 
over an image. Now, obviously, if we grant all the premises, which we're not, we're not, number one, it's wrong. Number two, he has no evidence. Number three, we're never obligated under any circumstances in any situation to ever give Donald Trump or MAGA Republicans the benefit of the doubt because they, he is a uniquely dishonest person and they are a uniquely dishonest political movement. But let's say generously, all of that's true. Why on earth would she be disqualified? What about that is disqualifying in terms of the Constitution? You have to be 35 years old, natural born citizen. You have to have lived in the United States for like, I think it was 15 years. You can't have been an insurrectionist. You can't have already served as president for two terms. But it says nothing about fake images. Again, stupid stuff from a deeply unwell man. Megyn Kelly and that MAGA panel are not alone. Ian Miles Chung, another outspoken social media MAGA Republican. He posted a video. Um, the Kamala's crowd at the airport was in fact real. We'll play it in the background. Um, yeah. Kamala's crowd at the airport was in fact real. You can claim they're paid actors or that they were just there for a concert, but they're definitely not AI. So again, even My Ian Miles Chung coming out and saying this. And not just Ian Miles Chung, you also have Newsmax hosts like Greta, Greta Van Susterson, who I believe used to be at the Fox Propaganda Network. She used to work for Fox. She is also begging Trump to shut up about this stuff. Her. But I think to myself is that, you know, why not go after for the border and stop worrying about crowd sizes or stop? I mean, a lot of the stuff that President Trump is taking the bait and he's getting into, you know, or he's, he's maybe even starting the bait, but he's getting into a lot of things that, you know, most American people, you know, they're more worried about inflation. The Her. But I think. Yeah, and he doesn't really have any good plans to tackle inflation. He just says, I'll get rid of it. I'm a big boy. Trust me. I'll, nobody knows inflation like I do. I'm the best at handling inflation. But yeah, she's right. Again, these are people who are open Trump supporters. They want the guy to win, even though he's an authoritarian insurrectionist, an idiot with a terrible record when he was president. Um, you know, somebody who has publicly uh, proposed terminating the Constitution in order to evict a current sitting president. President Biden in 2022 and put Trump back in the White House. Nothing like that. No mechanism for that in the Constitution, which is why he said in his Truth Social post about it, that if we have to shred the Constitution, then so be it. They want the guy to win desperately. And they think that him being himself is just going to cause him to lose. And I agree, which is why I think he should continue doing what he's doing. But he recently had a press conference, or rather he recently took questions from reporters uh, and was asked about the uh, plane. And he's at least at this point, I guess somebody has has made it clear to him that this is probably not the approach to take if you want to win the election. And so even though he's asked directly about his stupid, dishonest conspiracy theory, he really clumsily dodges the question. So we're going to play this clip of him being asked about it and his clumsy dodge. And then we'll get into how the Fox Propaganda Network reacted to the question, his clumsy dodge, and all things considered. And you said Harris's crowd sizes were AI and that there weren't people there. There's all kinds of video evidence and people who were there who have proven that false. Can you tell us about why you made that claim? Well, I can't say what was there, who was there. I can only tell you about ours. We have the biggest crowds ever in the history of politics. We have crowds that nobody's ever seen before, and uh, we continue to have that. We have a level of enthusiasm that nobody's seen before. They want to make America great again. That's what's happening. We're going to make it great again. Right now, we have a failing nation. We're in a failing nation. And uh... Yeah, so interesting stuff. Trump again trashing America publicly. I thought Republicans were supposed to be the party of patriots and patriotism. Apparently not. They routinely mock and insult the United States. But then, of course, he doesn't answer the question like, yeah, I was wrong about that. Yeah, I was just jealous. Yeah, whatever. Uh, he was like, nobody. Listen, let's talk about crowds. I have the best crowds. Nobody has better crowds than me. I Jesus didn't have these kind of crowds. Martin Luther King Jr. didn't have these crowds. Obama, Obama didn't have these crowds. He can't help himself. Right. So even that's why I say the dodge. He did dodge, but it was clumsy and stupid. And yet people at the Fox Propaganda Network most especially Kaylee McEnany, Fox News host uh, of Outnumbered and former Trump press secretary, whom Trump has repeatedly publicly mocked. There's some sort of weird Stockholm syndrome there, whatever. This is how she responded. I would just say he answered with such fluidity. And you compare that with Kamala Harris, who couldn't even feel the question about a hostage rescue, a slam dunk. What a comparison. And he fielded them with aplomb, said Emily Campagno, 
and also outlined in the beginning what Americans care about. I'm going to talk to you about the economy and crime. These people are unhinged. These people are really unhinged. They're really dishonest. I, I, I don't know if they're being more dishonest with their viewers or themselves, but it's pretty pathetic. Yeah. So again, here's where we are. This thing continues to vex Trump. Um, I think that, again, Democrats should exploit this vulnerability. Try to bait him. I mean, uh, Greta Van Susteren kind of gave it away. She's like, Trump's taking the bait. And then she had to kind of correct herself and was like, well, actually, uh, he kind of base himself, right? Because nobody teed him up, right, for that initial conspiracy theory he just couldn't handle I mean, he was late at night and he was sweating he was panicking over the fact that there was some excitement among the democratic base for the vice president and so he worked himself into this fervor into this you know just total apoplectic rage he did it to himself and i think democrats should actively do play their part do whatever they can to bait him into further implosions like that because it's definitely going to hurt his standing with voters and it's so bad that, again, getting all the way back to the beginning, you have MAGA Republican commentators, influential MAGA Republican pundits like Megyn Kelly and her MAGA panels, not only criticizing Trump, but publicly mocking him as stupid. Great stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments.